Welcome back to Stingy KTV, man. And today we is finna be reacting to Boosie's paperwork. Word around town is that boy snitching, man. Shout out to the Hunter side, man, and the Exposers and Wack 100, man. They got the content. So we reacting to the content, which is our content. <laughs> That's crazy, yeah. <laughs> but shout out to Clubhouse Unlocked, man. Make sure y'all subscribe to their channel. They be out there, man. Good, 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 good content. You feel me? So with that being said, we're going to get right into it. Let's see. Sunshine. I can't read it again. Did a good job. I know. Sunshine. The audio. And, oh, yeah, man. Make sure if you ain't subscribed, make sure you subscribe to the channel. And if you ain't like the video, make sure you like the video. Comment down below. Hold on. Down there. Yeah, directly down there. Make sure you comment. Grab the audio and replay it. Though. You want me to read it again? Or you want to replay the audio? Double, double, you know Wack don't want to hear that. Double, not nah, double, reader, double just said double's a good reader. Wack just said double's a good reader. Go ahead, double. Read this shit for us real quick, man. Double, use the white boy voice, voice double. double. Use that, use, I got you. Use that long crime voice you use, man. Statement of Torrance Hatch suspect. At around 17, 17 hours, I attempted to interview Hatch regarding this investigation. Hatch was agitated over his you arrest. Before I could begin speaking with him, Hatch stated, the guns were in the bag. Hatch went on to say, when the officer asked him if he had any weapons, Hatch said, no. Hatch went on to say, I don't carry any weapons. Hatch wanted to know what he was being charged with and I told him everyone was being charged for weapons violations. Hatch said, that driver works for the promoter at the Phantom. He's just a driver. Hold on, we gonna let it play a little more. I ain't even gonna do that. I asked Hatch for his name and Hatch said, if you're charging me, the only thing I'm going to give you is my name. I told Hatch that was fine, and he confirmed his name and date of birth. Hatch repeatedly told me this is a bad charge. Before I could read Hatch his Miranda rights, he went on to tell me he had two guns and they flew out here from Atlanta. I told Hatch I wanted to read him his rights. I started to admonish Hatch when he interrupted me to ask what he was being charged with. Unlocked. I told Hatch he was being charged with gun possession. Hatch raised his voice and said, the guns were in the bag. Hatch <laughs> said, you're reading me a false charge. I attempted to admonish Hatch a second time, and he continued to He should have just shut up and let them find them themselves and shut them. Shut up. State, the guns were in his bag. He interrupted me again as he repeated, the guns were in his bag. The marijuana was in my hand. Hatch said. The gun was not on the seat. It was clear to me Hatch was not listening to me as I tried to read the Miranda admonishment. Hatch watched me to view, he wanted me to view the body-worn camera footage before I charged him with anything. I told Hatch he was already charged. Hatch you continued to make unsolicited unlocked. voluntary statements. He insisted the guns came out of his bag. Yapping. Full of them drugs, that lean. These niggas is dope heads. Get you some weed, gang. Get you some weed, man. It's cheaper. It is better. Stop being a fucking dope head. You niggas be out here perked down, linked up, slipping, talking to the police, mouth running like bath water. It's crazy. He insisted the guns came out of the bag that was on Mr. Johnson's shoulder. I told Hatch, I hear what he is saying, but in order for me to speak with him about what we know, I would have to read him his rights. Hatch continued to tell me the guns were in Mr. Johnson's bag and there was nothing on the seat at all. Hatch told us they stopped all of the time and the guns were in his bag. Hatch told me on the seat, Hatch told me she, Miss Officer Vassarello, went in his, Mr. Johnson's, bag and pulled out the guns. 
Hatch spoke about flying with the guns and claiming them at the airport. I told Hatch I could not arrest him if the guns were in the bag, and Hatch agreed. But in this case, the gun was not in the bag. I told Hatch I could explain it to you him, now but I need house to house admonish house. him first. Hatch requested I get the officer and ask her about it. We told him we already did that. Hatch continued to raise his voice and repeated, the guns are always in, in his bag, and he carries them to protect me. At this point, it was clear Hatch was not going to allow me to admonish him. So I told Hatch the interview was over. I got up and I told Hatch I would review the body-worn camera footage. Hatch said thank you. Hatch continued to speak about the gun, and I did not ask him any question about possession. I told Hatch I would be reviewing the video footage. Hatch calmed down for a while as he continued to tell me the guns were in the bag. And during the traffic stop, he confirmed with his security that both guns were in the bag. Prior to exiting the interview room, Detective Williams placed a photo on the table. You Detective Williams told Hatch unlocked. this was why he was here at police headquarters. The photo was posted on Instagram, and in the photo, Hatch was standing at the video shoot wearing the same clothes. And you could clearly see a black Glock style handgun tucked in the back of his waistband. Detective Williams said, that's a gun. And Hatch said he knew it was a gun and they put it there for the video shoot. I told Hatch that was why I wanted to talk to him because I already spoke with his security and the stories aren't matching up. Hatch began making more unsolicited voluntary statements about the gun. Hatch stated they gave him the gun, and he had to put it in his back pocket. He was only there for about 30 you minutes, now watching and he gave it back to his security guard. I did not ask Hatch any questions about the video shoot or the gun that was in the photo. I told Hatch I was going to put him in the back of the police car and check the video footage. It's some nasty work, man. He kind of talked himself into it, man. And this is not, I'm not bashing Boosie, but a rat is a rat. And we trying to see if, if he ratted. That's what the purpose of me reacting to this video is for. I fucks with Boosie. Growing up, that's all I listen to. Boosie and Webby. Trill fam. Lil Wayne. Feel me? Everybody, everybody from my era was off the Boosie, bro. So, we finna see, man. So, we're going on to the next page. It's zoomed in. So it might be a different document. For the firearm. In this instance, in this instance, it was his security guard. In Exhibit 2A, clip of Hatch's statement in custody, Hatch repeatedly attempted to shift the blame to his security guard. While Hatch falsely claimed that both firearms were found in the security guard's bag and not on the seat. He did admit that he had to put that firearm on there for the video. As shown below, the firearm was found on the seat between the hatch and his security guard. During the clip, Hatch also admitted that there was a marijuana smell in the car and that you he was rolling a blunt. Unlocked. Hatch poses a danger to the community and specifically to witnesses and evidence. The United States is extremely concerned about witness intimidation. After he was interviewed by detectives, Hatch was returned to a parked police vehicle and his security guard was in an adjoining police vehicle. Hatch was heard yelling and berating his security guard for telling the police that the gun was on the, and then it cuts off. And that's the end of that. Yo, they got the securities um, taken. That's what I'm waiting on, because I want to see what he said. Hey. <laughs> oh, my God. This nigga whack is a fucking genius, bro. You got to give it to the old nigga, man. Shout out to bro. Nigga be politicking. He politics on shit, bro. All that tough guy shit niggas be hollering. Bro, get right up with him. And, and <laughs> we react to it. <laughs> I want to know what he said. Yeah, we need that. I don't know. 
Now we need security statement. If his statement is out, the security statement gotta be accessible. That's a fact, Wack. And right, uh, right. Uh, Wack, they, 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 they put them in a trick bag, though. I think Wack, because you see how that that they already had the evidence of the CI working with the photo already, and they were just he was just the you get CI, no, but see, they didn't put him in the trick bag. The CI is the San Diego Crip nigga we exposed. Yeah, no, yep. over there in Rockstar room, right? Because he already told on some other niggas prior, right? But he put himself in the trick bag because nigga. You doing too much talking anyway. That's right. You gotta shut the fuck up. Yeah, you shut the fuck up. You're in jail. You're not talking your way out of jail. You're gonna either bail your way out of jail or so sell your way out of jail. Let them read your Miranda rights. And then take it where you, you take are now it. Watching you got to call legal. In this situation, he's telling them the guns was in my security bag. <clears throat> Only thing I'm concerned with is they saying that statements from the security ain't lining up. The police the saying that the gun was on the seat. And he, they said that him and his security statements weren't adding up. There were two different stories. That's what he read right now, too. Story, because if the security is saying that ain't my guns because you ain't got the proper security, you ain't got a security that's able to have a pistol. But then they saying they flew him out of here from somewhere else, right? Right. That's what I heard? Yep, and they checked it on the plane and everything. So, did they check one? We're now watching Clubhouse Did they check unlocked. two? Did they find, I'm hearing two guns, right? It sounds like two guns, Wag. Right? It definitely sounds like there's sounds two. Like yeah. Guns. Yep. And and I'm just guesstimating. I'm thinking the security is claiming his gun. Right? And what the police is trying to tell this nigga, let us read your Miranda rights, homie. We're gonna tell you what's happening. <laughs> we got a CI who on live showed you had a gun your security's claiming his gun <clears throat> Bootsy trying to say he put his gun on me for the video shoot but yet his two guns found in the car whether they was both in the bag one in the bag one on the seat you are now watching two guns, and right if the security is claiming one gun and you putting both guns up on the security, at that point you tell it. If it's two guns in question and the security claiming both guns, then he ain't telling. It. It's my security guns. I hire security, they arm, they're here to protect me. So it's gonna come down to that security guard statement. Hey, hey, in the event of security, they, they supposed to have the paperwork to say I'm security. Here go all my licenses when the cops stop. If they was real security, you are now watching. Bro, you're missing the point. That's somebody got a license for something because they checked the gun or guns onto the plane. That's a fact. Right. They have to have record of them checking it on the plane. Somebody, yeah. somebody got a license for something. And we know it ain't Boosie. Now it's coming down to, did the security check one gun or two guns to the plane? Did they come over here with one? Boosie picked up another. Somebody picked up another. What they're saying is, and I think that's what they getting to, when he say it ain't adding up, security gonna say, that's my gun. I'm licensed to carry. Well, who gun is this? Security gonna dumb me up. Right? Security probably claiming his you gun. Are now watching Clubhouse and probably ain't saying who gun the other one is one way or another. I'm giving the security benefit of the doubt. Security could be saying that's my gun. 
I never seen that gun. I don't know who gun that is. So if Bootsy is saying both the guns are my security, and the security is saying that's my gun, I don't know who gun that is. The security is doing what he's supposed to do. Nigga don't never claim nothing that you ain't supposed to claim. Don't nobody claim it. Let them people do what they're gonna do. Boots is adamant of saying both the guns are the security. And if the security's only claiming one, because he can only legally carry one, at that point, that make Bootsy a rat. Only at that point. But we can't you are now finalize that unlocked. again. We can't finalize that until we see the statements of the security guard. Yep. That's the that's the that's man. What y'all think, man? Let me know. Down there. Right there. No. Comment section, man. If you ain't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Like the video. Yeah, all that nice stuff, man.